You know what this is? And this. How about this? This, this, and this. This is a severe violation of international law by the European Union. Let me explain. This is a Dumim region, a very strategic area located in the heart of Israel, bounded by Jerusalem on the west up to the Jordanian border in the east. According to the Oslo courts, the Adumim region is considered Area C, meaning that this area is under full Israeli security and administrative control. But is it? The EU, being a witness of the Oslo courts, has been grossly ignoring their own signature by paving unauthorized roads and building over 1,000 illegal structures in this region alone in the past five years. Buildings that have no permits or legal zone, some built on designated nature reserves and with a complete disregard to Israel's vocal disapproval. Illegal construction that is taking place in the territories by the uh, EU. Not only this, but these illegal structures are splendidly ornamented with the EU flag and supervision, as if saying, don't mess with us. We're the EU. We've got diplomatic immunity. Of course, this is also a violation of international law. The principle of non-intervention. United Nations Charter, quote, Nothing contained in the present charter shall authorize the United Nations to intervene in manners which are essentially within the domestic jurisdiction of any state. But to whom are they providing these illegal houses? To the Arab Palestinians? No, to the Bedouins. Today, the local Bedouins are exploited in a very calculated strategy by the EU, formerly called Area C and Palestinian State Building, aimed to create de facto Palestinian control over this area. Official EU document 2014, quote, the European Union and the PA are now actively participating in the planning and zoning of Area C, which, if successful, could pave the way for development and more authority of the PA over Area C. Now, why should the Palestinians want to negotiate when the EU instigates unilateral actions in their favor? The European Union would always encourage direct talks, not unilateral steps on both sides, to find the solution of the two states. In monetary terms, the EU has invested tens of millions of euros in this illegal land grab. This is how temporary Bedouin sites expanded and developed into permanent settlements in just a few years' time. Israel's protest to the EU was answered by a cynical excuse, humanitarian aid. Cynical because, quote, the EU report on Area C and Palestinian state building proposes a rationale for EU intervention in Area C while shifting the general approach from purely humanitarian response to longer-term and development-oriented activities. Official EU document. But primarily cynical because Israel proposed and prepared the plots to establish towns and villages for the Bedouins in this region with access to tap water, electricity, health, and educational facilities. I mean, where would you rather live? Here or build a permanent home here? But guess what? It was again cynically rejected by the EU. Conclusion, ladies and gentlemen, the EU is aware of its own illegal activities. The EU is aware of Israel's humanitarian proposal. It also contravenes its own signature of the Oslo Accords. The EU is violating international law. The EU is completely disrespectful of Israel's government. Stop building illegal settlements.